What's going on swim fans? In this video, I'm gonna answer the question, how much pee is in the pool? I'm also gonna talk about, is it safe to pee in the pool? And at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you just how many people are peeing in the pool. If that sounds good, let's dive in. We know people pee in the pool, we just don't know how much. And the goal of this video is to debunk all of the misinformation out there and share with you exactly not only how to measure how much pee is in the pool, but towards the end, I'm actually gonna share exact numbers on how much pee there is on average in a small pool, hot tub, and an Olympic sized swimming pool. Then at the very end of the video, I'm actually gonna share an equation that you can use to calculate how much pee is in your swimming pool. Now I went ahead and asked all the fans on YouTube if you pee in the pool and the results pretty much speak for themselves. The comments are quite interesting. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments of this video. Just make sure you guys keep it clean. Now the first thing I wanna talk about is how to actually measure how much pee is in the pool. Now this can be actually pretty tricky, but to approach this from a scientific method, huge shout out to Mark Rober on his video where he did a full analysis on this. I'm just gonna give you guys the cliff notes, but what we're trying to do is measure how much artificial sweetener is in the pool. And that's because it cannot come from anywhere except urine. That's the artificial sweetener. And specifically, we're looking at acesulfame potassium. And that's because 99% of this is going to pass through your system and make its way into the pool if you pee in the pool. Ew. Now this, you might be wondering like, what is this stuff and why am I consuming it? It's in most of the foods and drinks that you consume on a daily basis. So if we can understand how much artificial sweetener is in the pool, then we're gonna understand how much pee is in the pool because it can't be in there in any other way. But first we need to understand why is chlorine in the pool in the first place? So chlorine is actually a really good thing. It's designed to break down harmful bacteria that's in the water that can make you sick and it can cause illness. So that's a good thing. The problem is that chlorine actually reacts to urine to create trichloramine. So I have this beautiful chemical formula of trichloramine. If you appreciate my drawing, make sure you give it a like. Oh, and by the way, while you're down there, make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Here on the channel, I help people improve their performance and health both in and out of the water. So when you're in the water and you feel that aroma, or you smell that aroma, and you feel the irritation, your eyes get <sighs> red, that's actually caused by the trichloramine and not the chlorine. So I know this is kind of mind blowing to think, but when you go to a pool and you have that smell and you feel the aroma, the nostalgic f smell that you're at the pool, that's actually not the chlorine, that's the trichloramine, which only comes from a reaction to urine. In other words, if no one peed at the pool, then you wouldn't smell anything. But the fact that people are peeing in the pool is why you actually have that chlorine aroma. It's not the chlorine, it's the trichloramine, and that's what produces the smell, the red eye irritation, can also cause breathing patterns, including breathing problems, including asthma and other irritation like that. So because of people peeing in the pool, it's actually causing a lot of adverse health problems just because of the pee, which is pretty shocking. But before I tell you how much pee is actually in the pool, I have to thank today's video sponsor, Henson Shaving. Henson razors are produced in line with aerospace engineering standards. As you can tell, I'm a big fan of science and these razors are scientifically engineered to give you the closest shave ever. The single blade reduces ingrown hairs and Henson razors are specifically designed to hold the blade firmly in place at the optimal shaving angle. And this gives you a smooth and perfect shave every time. Now as a swimmer and someone who shaves down a few times a year for competition, I can tell you just how important a close shave is. Now I've had the chance to use the AL13 razor for a few shaves and I can definitely feel the difference. Henson razors are made of aerospace grade aluminum aluminum, which will last a lifetime. So head over to hensonshaving.com forward slash mysoompro to check out Henson Shaving. Get 100 blades for free with your purchase and the code mysoompro. Once you own a Henson razor, it'll cost you about three to five dollars a year to shave. Now these razors are great for both men and women, so make sure you check them out. Okay, now the moment you've been waiting for, exactly how much pee is there in a swimming pool. 
So to do this, I actually broke it out in a few different ways. So we have the small pool, hot tub, and the Olympic size swimming pool. And I wanna talk about how much P from a concentration perspective there is and then what that means in terms of like gallons and liters that you might actually find at the pool. So in a small pool, like your backyard pool or maybe like a community recreation pool, something a little bit smaller, you're gonna see about 470 nanograms per liter in the pool. So that's how much P there is in the pool. And you're like, okay, well, cool. Well, what does that mean? How many gallons are there in the pool? So in a small pool, you're gonna see about 13 gallons of pee in the pool. So for all of our friends outside the United States, just take that number and multiply by 3.78, and that's how many liters of pee there are on average in a small swimming pool. Sick. Yeah, that's pretty gross. How about a hot tub? So a hot tub is a much smaller, pool, maybe people are more shy to pee in there, there's less people going in that. So in a hot tub, you might find 103 nanograms per liter of water of pee. And what that translates to is about one gallon of pee in a small hot tub. And finally, we have the Olympic pool. So if we have some bit of a ratio between these two, an Olympic pool is much larger, it's getting a lot more action in terms of people using it. And in an Olympic pool, you will see over 100 gallons of pee in that pool, which is kind of mind blowing if you think about how much pee that is, holy cow. So let's talk about how to calculate the amount of pee in your swimming pool. This is like the pee equation. Shout out to Mark Rober for again doing the scientific analysis and showing us how this is all done. This is his equation, I'm just gonna give it for you guys. So swimmers introduce on average 25 to 80 milliliters of pee per session that they swim. Now this is the average. Uh, people on a swim team, again, from personal experience of seeing people and talking to people, asking 10,000 people in our beautiful YouTube survey, swimmers pee much more than the average person in the pool. Because if you think about it, a normal person might go to the pool, maybe they got let one out, that they're too lazy to go to the bathroom, get out of the water. A swimmer, on the other hand, is there for hours at a time, they're hydrating, and they were going to pee much, much more. So this 25 to 80 milliliters might only be two fluent ounces, and a swimmer might produce three, four, five, six, seven, eight fluent ounces of pee in a session if they're in there for two or three hours. So the way the equation works is you actually take the number of swimmers per day that are in that pool, you multiply by your constant variable of 1.2, and that's how many gallons of pee there are in the pool. So you can kind of already think about your own pool. Okay, if 100 people go to the pool, that means there's, oh my God, there's 100 gallons of pee in the pool. That's ridiculous. Disgusting. So what about a swim team at an Olympic sized swimming pool? So let's say you have a swim team of 200 swimmers per day. We're gonna increase that variable from 1.2 to 1.5, because again, swimmers are peeing a little bit more in the pool, or a lot more than the average person. So if you take 200 swimmers per day times 1.5 our variable, that means the Olympic sized swimming pool can have 300 gallons of pee in it. Now that, I don't know about you guys, but that just sounds absolutely ridiculous. And it's important to keep in mind that the average Olympic pool, a 50 meter pool, has 600,000 gallons of water in it. And some have actually much more than that. It's easy to find an Olympic pool that's deep all the way through that has over a million gallons of water. So even 300 gallons of 600,000 means that the pool, the contents that you're looking at, is is only 0.05% pee. Gross! Now you might be thinking, well holy crap, that's still way too much pee, but it's about one part per 2,000 is pee compared to actual water. And if the pool is well maintained, it has the right chemicals in it, yes, you're gonna produce uh, the nasty trichloramine, which is gonna cause skin irritation, eye rash, all that bad stuff it's still really not that much. So this shouldn't deter you from swimming because we know that swimming is absolutely amazing. In terms of, do I think it's safe to actually pee in the pool? Certainly you can pee in the pool and it's not the end of the world. As you can tell by my YouTube survey, thousands, tens of thousands of people are peeing in the pool on a daily basis. So if you can, I would recommend just kind of hold it in, head over to the bathroom, be cool, don't pee in the pool. A lot of people are peeing in the pool, but that shouldn't stop you from enjoying the incredible health benefits of being in the water and swimming. If you wanna find out what happens to your body when you swim, you're gonna love this video over here. So check it out, I'll see you over there, and happy swimming. And action. I don't know how much more I can do, guys. <laughs> I don't know how much